They, they are insects having six legs. Most of nymphalids, they hide the first two, use them as a feeders. Whenever a female wants to reproduce, they will feel or they will taste using those two front legs. Yes. So when you touch their wings, you will spot the powder which comes off. Their wings are made up of a thousand tiny little scales, very little. You will see them using a microscope. Those scales help them a lot because they have to see if the butterfly belong on the same family just for the mating uh, process. Because on red cases, you'll spot them crossbreeding. You have to see if, or if maybe it's a blue pansy and a blue pansy. Then they can recognize that and, and then they can mate. So if, if the butterfly looks different, he won't spot himself to mate with that kind of a species. Some species, they copy, they mimic other butterflies' color. It might happen that that type of a butterfly that they did copy, it's poisonous or so but they're trying to help themselves. Like variable diamonds, coping lanes. As well, lots of species, they copy an African monarch. But some caterpillars, you can see the green, which uh, allow them to blend with the plant. That one is of a green banded solitaires. Whenever they feel a movement, they simply shoot a red fox, just to give a bad smell. So geckos, lizards, spiders, they will, they will be off once the uh, caterpillar shoot in the right fox. Those are of a uh, citrus solitary as well. Some of the uh, of um, a citrus they do they, they do shoot in those right fox as they feeding on the plant. Some people are terrified because once they spot the worms on their gardens, they simply spray them because they finish their plants. Yes, it's true, but <coughs> as they feeding on the plant. They throw in this waste. It's a good compost. It helps the plant to grow back again. On red places, you'll spot caterpillars grinding the stem. Mostly, they feed on the leaf. Yes, so they do not damage the plant. Although they sometimes do, but they help the plant to grow back again due to the uh, poo that they, that they grow while they feed. Like some other caterpillars, the one of the lemon, they have sort of a few fillers. But what's fascinating about these caterpillars, whenever they make a cocoon, they turn into a gold cocoon. Those are of a, a novice. The one of the lemon is yellow, but they both make a gold cocoon. It's likely to be different when it comes to um, transformation from a caterpillar to a cocoon. A moth, although they undergo the same process, which is metamorphosis. But a moth spins a silk. But the one of a butterfly, uh, of a butterfly molds his own body. Or I can say, they slowly undress themselves, remove their skin, or change its body, then become a cocoon. But those of a, a moth, they simply spin a silk. So I can say, the caterpillar does not die, but it transforms to a cocoon, then that's, a, that's, that's where a butterfly will develop. So those butterflies that are known as a poisonous ones, like an African monarch, they actually gain a poison from the host plant, which is called milk box. Whenever any caterpillar feed on a toxic plant, they might, uh, and an adult of that specific uh, caterpillar will be uh, poisonous or distasteful. Let me show you the monarch. It's a well-known or it's a common butterfly in South Africa. As well, that's um, a cocoon, a crazy 